Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday morning, and we woke up to three degrees this morning. Yeah, it's a chilly one, and it finally has gotten to 12 degrees, <laughs> which actually isn't all that bad because the sun is just really streaming through the windows and the sky is blue, blue, blue. So yeah, it's quite a contrast from yesterday that was really gray and blowing and snowing. <laughs> so anyways, I sure hope that you want to stick around for a little bit of my day. I decided since it's such a very cold day, that I am going to make some chili. Yeah, just kind of seems like the season right now for some chili. So anyways, I will talk to you in just a little while. Hello again, everyone. Did you see that bright white? Yeah, that is the sunshine. I mean, it is really a beautiful day. But anyways, I am starting my chili and I make mine as simple as I possibly can. And if you remember, I said that I had some Thrive Life that I needed to use up. Well, I still had some onions and some green pepper. So I am going to be using that in my chili. So I went ahead and I rehydrated some of that. And I put a couple cans of kidney beans in here and a pound and a half of cooked ground beef. So I'm going to add my onions and I think you might be able to see them. Where are they back there? Hold on a minute. Here they are. This is what they look like when they're rehydrated. They're all nice and chopped up into little pieces and they're just red and green and orange and yellow chopped bell pepper. And then, yeah, the onion just looks like chopped onion. So pretty simple. Just, you know, add a little bit of water to rehydrate them and you're good to go. So I'm going to put that in there along with a can of diced tomatoes and a couple jars of my own tomato sauce and season it accordingly and put it on low on my um, slow cooker and yeah, we should have some chili in a few hours. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this and I will talk to you in just a little while. Look at the sunshine. It is absolutely beautiful out here. Oh, it's cold, all right. But look at those blue skies. And of course, the dogs are enjoying a little bit of time out here. And yeah, I think the sun just went behind a cloud. But it is still blue sky. For today's devotion, we will be reading in Proverbs chapter 26, verse 1. Like snow in summer and like rain in harvest, so honor is not fitting for a fool. Being that Israel was an agricultural nation, God would often use illustrations to describe and depict wisdom in a way that they would be familiar with and understand. And that is what the Lord is doing in today's scripture verse. He is speaking of things that a farmer would immediately know is not as it should be. God is a God of order, and he gave nature an order with the seasons. We go from spring to summer, then fall to winter every year. 
when these things deviate, if they become out of place, it's harmful. Snow in summer is not just a strange thing, it could be disastrous. Crops would be destroyed by a summer snow. Plants wouldn't grow or would be greatly stunted by this. And also having too much rain at harvest time would be distressing. Too much rain can make harvesting crops nearly impossible and can even destroy the crops by having them rot in the fields. And anyone in Israel would know this and the problems that such situations would bring. What God is trying to indicate is that just as there is a physical order to creation, there is also a moral order to mankind. And this moral order is once again his doing. To follow him is wisdom. To ignore or reject him is foolishness. Therefore, to give honor to a fool is turning over this moral code and is harmful. God's word tells us that the fool says in his heart that there is no God. A fool will deny the things of God. His works are ungodly and harmful to himself as well as those around him. As a consequence, when a fool is honored, he not only holds his own foolish views, but now he infects others with them as well. And to be honest, our country currently is honoring fools in abundance from authors to teachers and actors and government officials, foolishly declaring that God is not great and that there is no God. Whereas we have an entire generation of people that have embraced atheism or have watered down God's word to satisfy it to their own liking. And it's our leaders both in the government and even in the Christian church that are at the very center of such dishonorable actions. Their shameless lack of character and any moral code is bringing destruction to their lives and to our country. And from this, we can see clearly what God is telling us in today's proverb, that it's destructive to honor fools. It is unwise to elevate them and give them a distinguished platform from which to speak. In doing so, we harm ourselves, our families, and society. Just like snow in the summer and too much rain in the harvest time, good things will not come from these unwise choices because honoring a fool only increases their foolishness and it infects others. And with that, I wanna remind you, life happens, so let's enjoy it. And when we honor and praise someone who is undeserving, we demean the honor and our praise is in vain. Romans chapter 13, verse seven, encourages Christians to render therefore to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. God bless and I will talk to you tomorrow.